Yes. Kitas seem to be the buzzword. You got one, right? Absolutely, and I think we have the best one and the one that's the most fun to use. So uh, we have updated our Vortex. This is now the Vortex Wireless. Uh, you know, number one request: make it black. So Vortex Wireless is this new black color still with blue LEDs. It's going to look awesome on stage. If you look at the end of the headstock here, you get your randomized blue stage LEDs. You know, you're playing a guitar, you might as well fully embrace it. 37 synth action keys with aftertouch. Eight assignable drum pads that can either be true, true drum pads or clippering, uh, triggering clips or loops. And you have assignable knobs. Your patch like, patch edit program up and down, start and stop, and your three segment LED just to give you feedback on whatever parameter you're touching. Also, you have octave up and down on the headstock. You can split your keyboard zones right there as well. You have a three bank assignable ribbon controller for any effects parameter and sustain right here on the headstock. Also, a pitch wheel and an assignable fader. What you don't see on the outside of the Kitar is in the same way your smartphone knows where it is in space, that's called an accelerometer. The Kitar, the Alesis Vortex Wireless, has an accelerometer on board. You can map your movement to filter sweeps, to delays, to reverbs, to volume, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's a stage piece and wireless. So let's talk about the wireless. In the box, it includes this USB wireless receiver. It, we're transmitting MIDI over USB. And is that the same technology that used in the old bit? That's, like, that's correct. Works, right? You got it, you got it. So same technology and same uh, far range. We're getting 200 feet out of this with absolutely no issues because they're transmitting MIDI, not audio. And it just works, I mean, from the old bit just works. You don't need any drivers or anything. Yeah, no, no drivers, fully class compliant. It auto pairs, really easy to use. When you're using it wireless, it takes four AA batteries, but you can still use this wired. And the last thing I'll show you is the back panel. Uh, so we have the, the switch for battery off or USB use, the direct USB cable, the five pin MIDI out, sustain pedal, and a power supply. So uh, you don't have to run out your batteries if you're tracking in the studio. And these batteries last uh, quite a while, four or five hours at the very least on stage with four AAAs. So that's the Vortex Wireless. Uh, yes, so 199 US. We are dropping the price 100 bucks from the original Vortex. So uh, man, pick one of these up and have a lot of fun with it.